Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. I am very excited about Easter. One of the fun things we do is have an Easter egg hunt. We sometimes even do it at night. Well, in today's story, Emma makes a special egg and can't seem to find it. Boy, that Easter bunny sure is good at hiding. Let's experience the magic of reading as I read Emma's Easter, written by Lisa Bullard and illustrated by Constanza Basaluzzo. Chapter 1. Getting Ready Do you know what day it is tomorrow? It's Easter! We get ready by decorating eggs. We dye them the colors of spring flowers. See how I wrote my name on this one? Easter is a spring celebration. It is always on a Sunday. Chapter 2. Easter Morning I'm so excited that I can hardly sleep. Finally, it's Easter morning, and guess what? The Easter Bunny left us baskets of candy. Jelly beans are my favorite. Some German settlers came to the United States about 300 years ago. They seem to have brought the Easter Bunny with them. The settlers' children found eggs from the bunny on Easter morning. U.S. kids have looked forward to Easter ever since. The Easter Bunny also hid our eggs all over the house. We hunt everywhere for them. I find an egg in the bathtub. There's even one in Scout's bowl. But I can't find my Emma egg anywhere. The U.S. President has an Easter egg roll every year. It takes place on the Monday after Easter. Families come to the White House from all over the country. They roll eggs with spoons and do other fun things. Finally, Mom says, I need to get ready for church. There's an egg in my shiny new shoes. And there's an egg in my fancy Easter hat. But still no Emma egg. Where could it be? Some cities have Easter parades. The parade in New York City has become very famous. It started over 100 years ago. It is not a parade with floats and bands. Instead, people show off their new spring clothes. Many people wear funny hats. Chapter 3. A Church Holiday At church, we sing, pray, and listen to the Easter story. It's a story about Jesus. My family believes that God sent Jesus, God's Son, to save the world. But not all people liked Jesus. Some of those people killed him. Jesus lived on earth 2,000 years ago. He died near the city of Jerusalem. That is in the country we now call Israel. Jesus' followers told other people about him. They started a religion called Christianity. My church believes that Jesus rose from the dead. We celebrate his new life on Easter. Mom says that's why eggs are part of Easter. Eggs stand for new life too. Easter is a church holiday for Christians, but it's a special day for other people, too. They are happy about the new life that comes with spring. Chapter 4. Where's that egg? After church, the whole family comes to our house. My relatives all bring food for Easter dinner. And Grandma has made lots of kulich. That's a sweet Easter bread. Grandma says it's from Russia. Many different countries have their own special Easter breads. People in England eat hot cross buns at Easter time. Finally, our bellies are stuffed, and then we all look for my Emma egg. We can't find it anywhere. Grandpa says maybe Scout ate it for his Easter dinner. <laughs> Mom sends me to bed after everyone goes home. She says egg hunting will have to wait until tomorrow. 
And then, can you guess what I found under my covers? That Easter Bunny sure is tricky. 